From the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. An inmate at the Luzerne County Prison was found unresponsive last night and now is dead. Mark Rockovich, the Director of Correctional Services, says 21-year-old Haley Possiville was found unresponsive in her cell just after 9 last night. Correctional officers immediately responded and provided life-saving measures until facility medical personnel arrived. Emergency medical personnel arrived at the facility and brought Possiville to the Wilkes-Barre General Hospital. A hospital physician pronounced her dead just after 10 o'clock. She was in custody on charges of promoting prostitution and federal firearms charges. The Luzerne County District Attorney's Office was contacted and an investigation is ongoing. An autopsy has been scheduled. An official cause of death will be forthcoming. Today, Governor Tom Wolf took another step forward in bolstering the fight against heroin and opioid addiction by signing a statewide disaster declaration. The governor did that to enhance state response, increase access to treatment, and save lives. The declaration is the first of its kind for a public health emergency in Pennsylvania and will utilize a command center at the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency to track progress and enhance coordination of health and public safety agencies. Among the declaration specifics are 13 key initiatives that are the culmination of a collaboration between all state agencies with the focus on the Department of Health, Drug and Alcohol Programs, the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency, and Pennsylvania State Police. The 24-7 helpline number, 1-800-662-HE. LP. Could residents of Hazleton see a property tax increase this year? Tonight, council holding a work session to talk about the 2018 budget. The council will look at the budget passed by the last city council. Following this work session, council has set a special meeting for Thursday tomorrow at 6 p.m. At the special meeting, council could override Mayor Jeff Cassatt's veto of a budget that was adopted by the previous council. The new council will also consider overriding the mayor's vetoes of ordinances that authorized the sale of 2017 tax claims and a related change to the administrative code regarding the tax claim sale. It was a busy night at Luzerne County's council meeting last night. 33 open seats were filled by citizens interested to serve on numerous boards, authorities, and commissions. All the seats are unpaid positions, and there are still some expired seats they expect to be filled at future meetings. A federal lawsuit has been filed by two Wilkes-Barre Police Benevolent Association officials against the city. The suit was filed last week by the PBA President Sergeant Phil Myers and Vice President Dan Duffy. The suit alleges the two were targeted for retaliation after they raised questions about police leadership. Besides the city, Mayor Tony George and Police Chief Marcella Lindacki are named in the suit. Shots were fired into an occupied vehicle in St. Clair, and now one man is behind bars. 21-year-old Daniel Lance Lopez of Shenandoah fired a handgun December 18th into a car occupied by two men by the Schuylkill County Housing Authority apartment complex, according to police. He was arrested and charged with criminal attempt to commit homicide and aggravated assault. He was taken to the Schuylkill County prison for lack of $200,000 straight cash bail. No injuries were reported in that shooting incident. A Weatherly man was arrested after allegedly assaulting his mother in Packer Township. State police at Hazleton responding to Oak Hill Road after receiving a 911 hang-up call. The victim told police her 25-year-old son, William Heatherton, pushed her head into a wall and she refused to give him her bank card. The woman also suffered a punctured lung from an earlier assault. He was charged with simple assault and harassment and taken to prison 
for lack of $5,000 bail. The family of a man who's currently in prison for a carjacking says he suffers from mental health problems. 27-year-old Angelo Brito is accused of carjacking a teen outside the Wyoming Valley Mall New Year's Day. His family members say he was previously ordered to undergo mental health treatment but isn't getting the help he needs. He pled guilty to assaulting his father in December of 2015 and was sentenced to six months probation and ordered to continue mental health treatment. Coming up on WILN News, who had the high bid today for mini casinos in the state? We'll let you know. Plus, shutting down the pearl in one part of Luzerne and Schuylkill County. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. A flood watch is in effect from this evening through Saturday evening. For now, temperatures have come up and there's rain on the way. So that means the combination of snow melt and rain could raise rivers and streams. For tonight, fog and showers, the overnight low 30. Tomorrow, morning fog and clouds with a high of 49. A rainy Friday, the high 58, but don't get used to those temperatures temperatures. We're going back down over the weekend. Don't go away. We'll be right back. The Burger Family Dealerships have joined forces with Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships to bring you the largest liquidation sale ever. We have 30 days to liquidate $10 million in new and pre-owned inventory. This isn't just a sale. This is your opportunity to save thousands, maximize trade allowance, the biggest discounts, and lowest rates. First come, first serve. Stop and shop or visit us online at BurgerFamilyDealerships.com and see for yourself how low we'll go. And only at Burger Family Dealerships in Hazleton, where you'll find the lowest price guaranteed. Boyer Insurance Agency, 78 Sugarloaf Avenue in Sugarloaf. Quality coverage, competitive rates, discounts, recreational vehicles, boats, campers, and motorcycles. Find the coverage you want at the right price. Call them at 570-788-3543. Chura's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chura's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chura would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chura's 570-454-7229. Ralph M. Cameron, specializing in quality and affordable construction services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Licensed and insured. Call 570-401-0654 today for all your construction needs. Penn State has settled a lawsuit by a man who claimed former assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky molested him in a car 11 years ago. The settlement notice posted Monday on the Philadelphia Court's website was confirmed by a lawyer for the plaintiff called John Doe in case documents. That had been scheduled to head to trial in February. Pennsylvania gambling regulators are preparing to auction the first of 10 mini casino licenses as the state government looks for cash to patch up a budget deficit. Bids from the state's existing casino owners were unsealed early this morning by the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board officials. The bids started at $7.5 million to operate 750 slot machines, and the winner can buy a separate certificate for $2.5 million dollars to operate 30 table games. Bidders must pick a location. Penn National Gaming won the right to put up a casino in South Central Pennsylvania. It submitted a winning bid of just over $50 million, beating out three other bidders. Penn National currently operates a full casino in suburban Harrisburg, and it must meet licensing requirements before the deal goes through. A movie theater establishment in Schuylkill County is scheduled to close this month. According to its Facebook page, the Pearl Theater Stadium 8 at the Schuylkill Mall will close Monday, January 15th. Owners Bruce Taffet and Gina DeSanto said that they're going to try and rebuild it. They would like to bring the theater to Pottsville based on getting financing. 
Building a new theater would cost around $7 million. Pottsville Mayor James Muldowney said the city is working with the owners to try to find them a home in Pottsville. The last movies will run at the Pearl Theater 10 p.m. January 15th. A candidate for lieutenant governor released her campaign finances that she received in 2017. State Representative Madeline Dean raised a total of $270,000 after announcing her candidacy November 29th. She says her campaign has met and exceeded the year-end fundraising goals, revealing that people across the state reject status quo politics and want public servants who work for the people. Coming up on Hazel Township's News Choice, cold and flu season, far from being over. We'll get some tips on community and you. Plus, the ribbon just cut a short time ago on a new college building in Hazelton. We'll tell you where. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. Scott Wagner. If there's one thing I'm familiar with, it's taking out the trash. I started this business from the ground up. Harrisburg insiders take care of themselves, not us. I'm running for governor to clean up their mess. My plan will junk the property tax, cut wasteful spending, and put big government in the dumpster. I've taken out trash before. Career politicians are going to be real easy. Conservative, reformer, tough. Scott Wagner for governor. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. For four generations, All-American Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup with a snow dog plow, or have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in now and take advantage of their Start Something New event. Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN News, everyone. I'm Gary Perrin. I'm very pleased to be uh, joined by Dr. Dan Benio from the Lehigh Valley Physicians Group uh, here in Hazleton. And Dr. Benio, first, thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, of course, name very familiar. Your dad and brother practice uh, in the area. You have now uh, joined and joined the Lehigh Valley Physicians Group as well. And today we're here, we're going to talk a little bit about cold and flu season. And we went through this really cold snap. It's getting a little bit warm, mm -hmm. but people need to know, don't you know, pack away those winter clothes yet. Be prepared because we could still get uh, some cold temperatures in here and you'd still, uh, get some, you can still get sick a little bit from it. Oh, certainly. Uh, now is the time for cold and flu season despite mm -hmm. warmer temperatures. Uh, influenza is among us. And uh, generally, the cold and flu season runs from October to May. Mm -hmm. uh, we're already seeing cases in the hospital of influenza. Uh, and so it's extremely important to uh, be aware of it um, mm -hmm. and to follow up with your doctor and, of course, get your flu shots. And, and that's something I want to ask about. We've heard a lot in the news lately about the flu shot. Uh, some are saying it's only 10% uh, effective. Uh, so a lot of people are worrying, like, is it even worth getting it uh, to, to go to the doctor and get the flu shot? Sure. I hear that a lot this year. Um, the CDC reported that it's only 10 percent effective, mm -hmm. and that's based off of a few things. One is there's three strains of influenza. Uh, influenza A and B are the most common. Influenza A has 
one that's called H3N3, mm -hmm. and that's the one that the vaccine isn't as effective with. Okay. So how do they generate that data? They look at Australia. Their flu season is opposite to ours. It's from May to October. Okay. And they basically test the vaccine during their flu season. So it was found this year in the interim of their flu season to found to be only 10% effective at reducing the H3N3. Mm -hmm. um, but there's still two other very common strains that can infect people. Uh, and that we're seeing that the flu vaccine provides probably around 45, 50% effectiveness in decreasing your risk of getting the flu, mm -hmm. va uh, the flu uh, infection. So uh, somebody is at home, they said, you know, uh, I've started not to feel good for the last couple of days, sneezing, coughing, running nose. Um, they're saying, ah, you know what, it, it's just something, I'll deal with it, I'll take something over the counter. Um, is that always the best thing to do, to just mm. say, eh, you know, I think I can handle it, I'm gonna go to work, uh, days later everybody in the office is sick? Sure, so uh, common symptoms of something that's influenza are fevers, uh, runny nose, coughing, congestion, uh, diffuse muscle aches, pains, mm -hmm. fatigue, feeling tired. Those are very common symptoms. And the risk is if you continue to go to work, you continue to pass it on mm -hmm. and other people get sick and it just kind of generates uh, an epidemic, so mm -hmm. to speak. So um, it's important to call your physician. Uh, certainly there's multiple factors that go into it. Uh, one is how old you are, mm -hmm. older populations, don't do too well when they get the influenza. Uh, influenza kills people who are old and young and immunosuppressed. So usually if you're above the age of 65, that's mm -hmm. when we start to say, well, you should just call us if you develop any of these symptoms, mm -hmm. and certainly in the younger population as well. And if you're on medications that can impair your immunity. Mm -hmm. So those are all important. Uh, certainly you can do over-the-counter uh, treatments like uh, Tylenol, nasal rinses, Mucinex, um, salt water gargles for a sore throat. Mm -hmm. um, there's a variety of over-the-counter medications. But there's also, more importantly, a medication that can be used to help reduce the symptoms of the flu uh, influenza infection, as well as reduce any severe complications from it. So okay. that's called Tamiflu, but it's a prescription and usually you should be evaluated by your physician prior to having mm -hmm. that prescribed. All right, so a lot to remember, you know, you may not just be getting a cold, you could be getting the flu, and it could be something that, uh, you know, could uh, knock, you, uh, knock you down for a couple days and, oh, and, and really, you know, throw you for a loop. And it's really important, uh, especially those older population, uh, children, make sure they're seen by a doctor. And uh, you currently are accepting new patients uh, for your practice. So, you know, some of me, well, I don't have a doctor. This may be a good time to say, hey, uh, give you a call and, and come down. Sure, I'm a new provider to the area, uh, just finished residency, and uh, my schedule's wide open, of course, and more importantly, we also offer Saturday hours for people who maybe during the week the, and with their work, they're unable to come in. Mm -hmm. We offer Saturday hours um, every Saturday down at the drums office. Okay, so a lot, you can um, give a call to make an appointment, 501-4-LVH, of course, or 570-501-4584 uh, to schedule an appointment uh, with Dr. Benio and get it in CM. And don't just shrug it off against a cold. If you're not sure, you know, just on, err on the side of caution and, and see Dr. Benio or your physician as well. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And of course, thanks for watching everyone here on Community and You. We'll catch you next time here on WMR. Chur's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chur's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chur would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chur's 570-454-7229. Four Balloons is now open, 668 North Hunter Highway in Drums. Tuesday's happy hour from 5 until 8 in the bar area. Every Wednesday from 6 until 10 is martini night in the piano room. Sip and savor, Thursday from 5 until 8 in the bar. And don't forget about Sunday brunch. That's Four Blooms in Drums.
The Burger Family Dealerships have joined forces with Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships to bring you the largest liquidation sale ever. We have 30 days to liquidate $10 million in new and pre-owned inventory. This isn't just a sale. This is your opportunity to save thousands, maximize trade allowance, the biggest discounts, and lowest rates. First come, first serve. Stop and shop or visit us online at BurgerFamilyDealerships.com and see for yourself how low we'll go. And only at Burger Family Dealerships in Hazleton, where you'll find the lowest price guaranteed. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869 or email us at news at WYLNTV.com or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. A special annual dinner dance will be held in Freeland at the end of January, and it's all to raise money for those in our area battling cancer. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has more on the event. The 21st annual Country for a Cure, previously known as the Mayor's Dinner Dance, will take place on Saturday, January the 27th. The fundraiser was started by former Freeland Mayor Tammy Martin, who lost both her father-in-law and husband Tim to cancer. The money raised from the dance goes to help people in the area battling cancer. Martin explains that this will be the last year it will be held at the Freeland Event Center as the building will be transformed into the new Borough Hall. Unfortunately, this is going to be our last year inside. Not our last year forever. I want to just, you know, straighten that out because I heard that that rumor was going around. Um, no, the Event Center was sold to the Borough of Freeland, um, but we were, you know, happy that we were still granted because we had the contract already done with them to keep it at the event center this year so this year it will be at the event center um, have no fear the committee's been talking we have plans in place to keep this going year after year over one hundred and ten thousand dollars has been raised since its inception all the money stays local for patients and their families someone you know is battling cancer you pick up the phone, you give me a call and say, hey, Tammy, you know, my cousin, my brother, my sister, a friend of mine, anybody, you know, do you think maybe we can, you can help them? And we put them on a list and we've been very fortunate that we have never had a list too big that we couldn't help everybody on it. Cancer survivors will be honored at the event. We want to celebrate those who have battled in the past. So we're going to have a tree of life there. So if anyone who may have lost someone to cancer or a friend of theirs who's in remission or even someone who's battling it now. If they can send me a picture and if they want the picture back on the back of it, just put their address so I can make sure the picture gets back. We want to put those on our tree of life. We want to honor the heroes. Tickets are $35 per person and can be purchased by calling Tammy at 570-956-4940 or Amanda Seaman at 570-959-9267. Country for a Cure kicks off Saturday, January 27th at the Freeland Event Center. The cocktail hour starts at 5, dinner is at 6, and music will be provided through the night by Music Master Entertainment, North of 40, and Ostrich Hat. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. And today, the ribbon was cut on the new location for Lackawanna College in downtown Hazleton. The college moved from their old location at the Federal Building at Broad and Cedar Streets to the former Traders Bank Building at Broad and Wyoming Streets. The new building, much bigger, with more classrooms and common areas for students. The college takes up the first four floors of the former bank building. After the ribbon was cut, the Greater Hazelton Chamber held their first mixer of 2018 at the new location. And we'll have more on the new location tomorrow here on WYLN News at 530. The Lehigh Valley Health Network naming its new Chief of Neurology. Dr. Stephen Lewis will be assuming the role after Dr. John Castaldo retired in 2017. Lewis earned his undergrad degree at Yale and medical degree at Stanford University. He spent 30 years in various positions in Chicago. He's board certified in neurology and also the editor-in-chief of the journal Continuum Long Life Learning in Neurology. 
He'll provide leadership for the expansion of the Division of Neurology into a national referral center for clinical care, neurological education, and clinical research at Lehigh Valley Health Network. Congratulations and welcome. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. For four generations, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram has been treating their customers like family. Stop in to get the lowest financing options and best service around. Whether you're in need of a Ram pickup with a snow dog plow, or have an active family lifestyle, or simply want to show off your fun, adventurous side, All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Tamaqua has a wide variety of inventory to choose from. Stop in now and take advantage of their Start Something New event. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Tune in each week to WYLN TV 35 to watch the number one Hazleton-based broadcast television talk show, The Storm, hosted by Tiffany Cloud. Candidates, politicians, community leaders, and more appear on a storm when they want to be heard. New shows air Wednesdays at 8 p.m. and these additional airtimes only on WYLN TV 35. We're your local network. 